Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo romp on the Whisper Heroic. Uh, it's a very easy completion. I decided to make this video because starting from next season, I believe Whisper will be the king of DPS. So, so a lot of people are going to want to actually get this catalyst. So this is the setup I'm using. I'm doing this on the Titan and I'm going to use the Titan so I can cut out almost two thirds of the jumping puzzle. So as you can see, we're using Sentinel, uh, bottom tree, the the jump is very important you need catapult so i'm going to be using a combination of weapons we're going to be using perfect paradox for taking down blights and stuff and then we'll be switching to the patron of lost causes yotun for the whole thing we'll be starting off with a sword then 21 percent delirium then the pyroclastic flow i'm using the raid mark the last wish raid mark which in a, a previous video on how to get raid armor and weapons for free that's how you get that without beating the raid. I'll be switching between the line Rampants and a legendary pair of leg armor. And I'll be also using uh, the Doomfang Pauldrons to keep my super going. So on the helmet, I've got Taken Barrier. On the, on the mark, I've got Taken Armaments. You get them from the chests that I made the video about. So good luck going for them if you need them for this. Now... I decided to do this because the last runs I've done, I used a sniper, a 90 RPM sniper. Well, they're getting nerfed, and even though I'd done these, some of the I'd done runs on this before they got nerfed, I decided to do one without using a sniper, without using any real sweat weapons. The sword is getting nerfed, but only its powerful attack. We don't use its powerful attack; we just use its normal attack. So, the sword, what we're going to be doing with the sword, will still work. So. That's how you get up to the blight. You take down the blight and now you're, you're down actually at the start of the jumping puzzle. We're going to skip a massive amount of this jumping puzzle using the line rampants, catapult jump and the sword. So when you get to here, cut round to the left and just jump off here. Let your character fall so that when you boost, you're going underneath this. Right? Now I probably held boost too long there, but it's, it's no big deal. The idea of doing this is... The line rampants give you more charge back the longer you fall or the longer you're not jumping. So as you can see from the, the time between boosting, the sword keeps you at the same level so you don't fall too far. You'll constantly have boost. So you just boost a bit, sword swing, boost a bit, sword swim. Now, now you can vary the amount, of, as you'll see, you'll see in the video, I vary the amount of time I actually boost for depending on how much height I need. Now you want to see, you'll see, see that ledge just to our left, the the red, the lit up red uh, ledge. That's where the left is. We're going to bypass that completely. You want to keep yourself just about on par with the top of that, just in front of you. You'll see kind of like the, the the ceiling of this next part. And this is, now what we're at the part, we, we've completely bypassed all that jumping. Now we're at the part where the, the taken kind of, force pushes you off the ledges we're going to bypass that as well so in the first literally two minutes you haven't had to bother about the jumping puzzle you haven't had to bother about any of that finickety trying to land on stuff and you've just boosted all the way to here and that's that's a massive amount of the jumping puzzle probably the hardest parts of the jumping puzzle you've just skipped so we're not gonna we're, we're gonna go up here, go into the last kind of hole at the end, the last kind of portal at the end. Use the sword to throw myself in. Now the great thing about the sword and using twenty one percent delirium pyroclastic, if you switch between weapons that use the same ammunition, you nearly depend on how much ammo you've got with with energy weapons. Uh, you you get a large percentage of the ammunition. If you switch between weapons that use energy ammo and primary ammo, you'll lose. If you go from energy to primary, you'll get some primary. But if you go between primary and energy, you'll lose all that energy. As you can see, I just completely, as soon as I could see the portal, I just jumped off and boosted towards it. So when we get up here, we're going to take off the boots and we're going to change. We're going to take the sword off, put 21% delirium on. And we're going to take the shotgun off and put a uh, patron on. Now we're not good. We're going to try and keep our super for the for the final room before the ads, before the boss, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Yotun's going to be our friend here. Now the Yotun's quite easy to get for new light players. Once you get to that step in the quest, you'll get a bounty. You'll get a quest that 
asks you to complete 10 legendary frames. Now you'll see a little bit, you'll see a little bit of uh, a little bit of play acting here from this captain. And after a while, I just I just kind of wait for him to. He, every time he's firing, he's dropping off. That's why I couldn't see him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for him. Now I'm going to wait for him to fire. He'll teleport back up. I'll wait for him to fire. Then when he goes down, I'll hit him when he's down low. Now, I fire again, but just as it hits, I was wondering why it never killed him. He teleported back up. So the, my patron obviously has got Vorpal Weapon, so it does a lot more damage against yellow and orange bars. So as you can see, I just jump up, hit that that other captain. We want to complete want to clear the captains so all we're left now is the acolytes now there's a bit of ammo up here so i'm just going to go up and get it once we kill nearly all of these acolytes that will bring out the next wave of ads so i'm just checking to make sure that the the snipers are down i've got taken armaments which is why i don't why i threw that grenade because as you can see now i've got 300 300 ammo because obviously taking armaments give you give you heavy ammo straight into your straight into your uh, magazine uh, on grenade kills so normally they've got a grenade because bottom tree what bottom tree does as well is it recharges your grenade on grenade kills so the more grenade kills you get you uh you more grenade kills you get more grenade ammo you respawn with so we're just going to mop up this i clear out these two sides and then i go for this top side and it just leaves the ones at the bottom. Now, if you've got an anti-barrier weapon and you want to put, I, I put a taken spec on my my. I put a taken spec on my patron of lost causes. I've got a taken spec on all my weapons. If you, if you, I just kill that, kill him with a grenade just to get more heavy ammo. And as you see, it killed them all. If you've got, if you want to put anti-barrier on your patron lost lost causes, it will shoot through the taken barrier. So what we'll do is we'll just, we're going to grenade him. We'll get up here, get away from them and use, because the solar shields will come into this little cave area and take out the rest of the, rest of the taken. Just get a bit of, bit of cover. So now that we've done that, what we want to do is we want to try and take out an enemy or two on the right hand side before we pop the super. So just wait here, that taken blast will go, go in. We'll just take out the, the Yotun will take those those enemies out with one hit. And now we'll try and take out if we can take out this guy up here. If we can't, it's fine. Hit him once. I think nearly killed him, but I, I don't think I do kill him. I've got to come back and get him. It's fine. We're gonna just clear off all these kind of there's a lot of void enemies in here. So the way to use these gauntlets, as you can see, I've got the gauntlets on. The way to use the gauntlets is you throw you throw your, your shield. Now, I'm using bottom tree, so I get two shields. Now, as you can see, every time I get a melee kill, I'm trying to throw my, uh, my, 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 my shield. And the reason I'm doing that is the more hits you get off the shield, the more super energy you get back. Um, getting melee kills gives you your, gives your shield back. So we've still got him up. So we'll just come up here and finish him. Still got a ton of super left. I'm not. I know I'm not going to take all the enemies with my super, but if I can take the majority of them, then I'll be happy with that. But as you can see, because I because I'm just going between throw melee, throw melee. Get another one. That's him dead. And we did actually kill all the enemies. So what I always do, what I always like to do, is take out this blight. And the reason I'm going to take that blight out is because once you, when you when you open this doorway, you've got three snipers. Once you push forward to take the snipers, you're going to have two yellow bar come behind you. So I'm just going to reload the Yotun because the Yotun's going to do big damage against those guys. So take them and then I'm going to jump over this and get past them before they blast me because when they blast you. You take a lot of damage. And now we'll just one hit them with the Yotun. What we'll do, just make sure they're dead. And then I'll just gonna clear these enemies. And then that's that's it. But before we drop down, we're going to change back to... We're going to change back to our shotgun. 
So hopefully we can drop. I've got on the armor, you've seen at the start, I've got special ammo finder, heavy ammo finder. I've also got special ammo scavenger, which is which is pretty cool. It just allows you to get more more special from every brick you pick up. So now I'm I'm picking up this energy and and I've just I've just realized, you can see me stop there, I've just realized I've picked up all the energy and I never changed the shotgun. So we're going to use the delirium to take out the, 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 the blights. Normally I would change the shotgun at that point because six shots takes them out. But we're just going to use the delirium. I've got a take and spec on the delirium. So we'll take these first two out real quick. And I'm going to run at this cave area. And this takes us round here. It means we, we bypass ads. Ads are still pushing up to where we were. We'll take this one, then we'll take the one at the back. We'll leave the one over the other side, the one that's to the right of us at the moment. We'll leave that one. So once we take this one, we've got our super. So we're going to pop our super and clear all these ads. And as I say, it's still using now. As you can see, all the all the it used to be that just middle tree had the the shield. Now it seems like all the all the defensive subclasses all the all the three different the th three different trees have all got the, the all got the shield the 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 block and wall so just see if we can just clear this last guy now what we'll do is pick up some ammo we've still got a little bit of super normally normally when i get here what i like to do is throw i've normally got some shield left and i like to throw that so we're going to get up here because when you get up to this ridge up here as you can see, I'm going to change now the pyroclastic. I've got a taking spec on it. It's got cluster. And pyroclastic has an intrinsic tracking perk. It's like it's like the Zenobia D. It comes with that as part of the frame. So if you get a cluster pyroclastic, uh, if you get a cluster one, then you're going to have a tracking cluster rocket. So as you can see, this guy kind of played a little bit funny. Just hiding out the way of our shots. But that's what we want. We want him to come back round here. I'm just going to take that. I can see that sniper looking at me. Don't like it. So I'll take him from here. Then he puts a, a wall up. Now, this is very important. This part, this part is very important. I just happened with some, some primary. This part is very important. There is a whole host of ads here. Now, you could waste a lot of time clearing these ads. You'll notice... Something, something very. I'm just trying to try and get a grenade kill. And as you've seen there, I've got two heavy. As soon as I got the grenade kill, what will happen is if if you take out one of these bosses, the ads that spawned with this boss will disappear as well. So it makes sense to take out the first, this first uh, taken champion. It makes sense to do that, and that'll clear. A whole host of the enemies now you can do most of your good work from up here now what will happen eventually is i'll just use my vorpal weapon you can see i'm hitting them for 15 1153 per crit this is a rapid fire frame it's a it's a 20 200 rpm so you know it will it you'll get good shots on them quickly i just hit them with the last couple of my yulton the other thing that's going to happen here, which is why I'm, I'm not really one for clickbaiting, but I have said this a very easy completion. As you can see, I'm under no pressure and I'm not using anything you would you would uh, think would be DPS Kings. I haven't went with it as an I'm definitely not going to use the Yulton. I was kind of hoping that, that, that sometimes the grenades kind of, they're not tracking, but sometimes they, they do kind of if, if they're close to an enemy they will just attach themselves to it just want this this one champion down there he is there's the champion down which all the ads that spawned with that champion will now disappear so there are two more champions up and i'm just going to attack this guy this uh, centurion with vorpal right now something i was slightly worried about when it came to the patron was patron doesn't seem to have a lot of range now i have a ranged masterwork but you can see quite clearly the numbers don't lie 
I'm doing the exact same damage on that Centurion that I was on the first enemy. And he's considerably farther away. Vorpal um, the, the Patreon Lost Causes has a lot more range than its stats suggest. And what I'm trying to do, and you'll see it happen. I'm just going to keep myself safe. You don't, you don't have to. You can go down after ammo if you want. But the game is very forgiving if you run out of ammo. I've got no ammunition whatsoever. I'll just put a wall up. And that will save me because it's this week's uh, Whisper's Void Burn. But I tried not to use weapons that, that, that work with the burn. So that this can be replicated for every week. And what will happen is eventually the game will give me full ammo. Give me full primary, full, give me very close to full energy and it give me three heavy. And I've almost got my super back should I need it. Now, for anybody that's interested in the, the zero hour as well, I'm going to do the zero hour with exactly the same weapons. Without the pyro... I did actually change the pyroclastic during previous runs, but I decided to just use the exact same weapons that I'm using here without the sword. We didn't we didn't need the sword, but 21% delirium, uh, Patreon lost causes, and the the Jotun, and got the zero hour heroic. So that will be up maybe just after this one, but it's just rinse and repeat. It's rinse and repeat on this ad. We've still got just over, just under five minutes left. It really is a walking pace kind of, a walking pace uh, run. There's nothing too difficult here. And and like I say, and I'll, I'll repeat it, the weapons I'm using aren't weapons that you have to, you have to sweat out. These are all of these weapons are quite easy to get. This this cabal guy, as you can see, he's moving here. I'm trying to wait for him to move because if I fire, I know he's going to go to the other side. He'll just keep going from side to side. He will just keep going from one side to the other, and as you can see, he is now dead. So the ads that spawned in with that boss are now gone. So now I'm just going to come down here. And I'm going to use my super to clear the ads that are still here. Again, using the same principle. Melee. Throw. And anything that the disc hits, that is what how you get your super back. It, it gives you more super the more, more enemies it hits. So we know there's some invisibles still up. Kind of hard to lock onto the invisibles, but I've just about cleared all the ads. And I've still got a whole host of super left, so I'm just going to throw this last bit of super at the at the at this boss, and then I'm going to go over here, get behind this wall. I've got a ton of heavy. I haven't. I've only got three, but it's 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 half half your heavy. You what you're going to get now is you're going to get two wizards that are going to spawn. They're going to be the only ads that will spawn. And as you can see, what I'm going to do, I'm just moving from side to side just to see what we've got, is I'm, I'm, just, I'm actually just going to kill the two wizards. And it allows me to move a bit freer. You know, there's, ad, there's ammo lying about. The Jotun does good work against them, and it's just back to me and the boss. There are no other adds here. And the next time the two wizards spawn... I will probably be in a position where I can kill kill him, so there's no point in me worrying about the wizards. And there you go. That is the solo heroic whisper. I hope that helps you guys complete this. Good luck with your runs. As I say, the solo zero hour will be up next. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.